Have you ever wondered what wine tasting feels like from the point of view of your wine glass? Before we taste the wine, let's try a little experiment. This is my GoPro. It is apparently waterproof. I tasted this in Lachi this summer. It's not broken yet, but can it survive wine? And what does a wine pour look like from the bottom of a wine glass? Let's find out. Hey tasters! As we all know, a wine can be either red or rosé or white, right? Wrong. Have you ever heard of orange wine? No, it's not wine made out of orange juice, that's pruno or prison wine. And I'm sure you haven't been naughty enough for that. Yet. Orange wine is essentially a white wine. However, it is wildly different to any white wine you've ever tasted. As the name would suggest, in appearance it has a bright orange colour. But it's the character, but it's the character that's mind-blowing. Deliciously, it combines the textured tannins and body of red wine with the bright acidity, minerality and fruitiness of white wine. How is this even possible? For the vinification of white wine, winemakers go to great lengths to separate grape skins from the grape juice as quickly as possible. This is done to maintain the light colour and light body of the white wine. Orange wine is unique because even though it's made from white wine varieties, it's vinified like a red wine. This means that the grape skins remain in contact with the must of the wine and this period of maceration can last anything from four days all the way up to a year. During this extended maceration time, phenolic components such as tannins, colour and flavour compounds are extracted from the grape skins and transferred into the must. Maceration, along with oxidation, creates a wide range of colours, ranging from golden all the way to light brown. The dual character of this wine makes it extremely flexible. Due to its strong taste, orange wine goes really well with spicy dishes. Moroccan, Korean, Middle Eastern, even traditional Japanese cuisine. Its high tannic content means that it matches perfectly with all kinds of protein, ranging from seafood all the way to lamb. Although orange wine could be mistaken for a modern trend, it is in fact an ancient winemaking technique originating in the Caucasus region of Europe. The revival of this tradition began on the borders of Italy and Slovenia. An Italian-Slovenian winemaker called Josko Gravner looked to the ancient winemaking traditions of Georgia for inspiration. In Georgia, Josko encountered clay amphorae called Gvevri for 5,000 years. These clay pots have been used to ferment, age and store orange wine, buried underground. Josko Gravner decided to try these ancient vinification methods from the past and since then the popularity of orange wine has been rising. So my friend Aphrodite Constandi has created this experimental wine. If you want to know more about Aphrodite, check out this interview in this card up here from last year. She is the accomplished enologist of the silicone winery in Paphos. This orange wine is very limited production. Single vineyard, 100% Xinisteri. So, like many exciting developments in the world of wine, such as champagne, or white Zinfandel or Madeira wines. 
the creation of this orange xenisteri came about more out of good luck than a decision. During the 2017 harvest, the xenisteri of one particular vineyard reached ripeness a little later than the xenisteri in other vineyards. As a result, those grapes were not included in the Silicon Winery's multi-awarded dry white xenisteri. However, Aphrodite couldn't bring herself to cull the grapes. So instead, she fermented them, skins and all, in a stainless steel tank. If this 2017 vintage was an unoaked xenisteri, at three years old, it would start to lose its primary aromas of citrus and lemon blossoms. But vinification with the skin provides this wine with a fortifying structure that preserves its intensely aromatic character. So let's taste it, shall we? Look at that color, my goodness. like honey. On the nose you get a medley of fruit. It's intensely fruity but you don't get the fresh citrusy aromas that one usually associates with Xenisteri, the, the lemon freshness, the, the spring blossoms. Here we have more muted stewed fruit. Um, Pergamon, um, Queens, honeyed orange peel, and incredibly for a white wine, I think that this probably would benefit for uh, from a few minutes in a decanter. A very rich texture. A, a thickness, a fullness that one doesn't normally get in a white wine. Um, silky, luxuriously languid across the tongue. So tasters, remember this experimental orange wine can be found exclusively at Vasilikon Winery in Paphos. As you can see, it has a very informal label. Thank you, Aphrodite. I can't think of a better reason to get in the car and travel to Paphos and visit Vasilikon Winery this weekend. I'm going to leave all the contact details for the winery in the description below for you. So, have you ever tried this new trend? And if not, are you bold enough to give it a go? Let me know in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you live in Cyprus or if you're visiting the island, remember to visit Vasilikon Winery and ask them to take you to the cellar in order to taste this unconventional white wine. Cheers, guys. I will see you on the next video. Clive, can you order me some sushi, darling? I've just uncorked an orange wine.